Rust is being used for evil. And you may not believe me, but here are over 30 samples of malware picked up in the last 30 days, all using Rust as their programming language. You may be asking, why are they using Rust, one of the best languages on earth, as seen by this tier list I did here with Trash Dev and the Primogen, 100% accurate. Why are they using Rust to make this malware? In this video, I'll discuss the three primary points that I think is causing malware authors to use Rust as we begin to see the C to Rust revolution in the world of malware. Let's get into it. One, Rust is an incredibly memory safe language. It is almost impossible to make code that crashes using Rust. I actually did a stream yesterday where I wrote an HTTP server that returned a file over TCP using the HTTP protocol. That entire time encoding that server in Rust, I was literally unable to produce code that crashes. There we go. Our little server works and nothing crashes. That's the craziest part, dude. I, I need you to understand how wild it is that we wrote this and like we haven't actually crashed it yet. I've fought with the compiler more than I would in C. In doing that, I've written this thing without crashing it a single time. That is amazing. This is because of the memory safety and borrow checking functionality that the Rust compiler comes with that enables you to write code that is extremely safe. If you're a malware author, you want your code to go out into the wild and do the evil thing that you want it to do. And you want it to do that reliably. If your code crashes, you have to go out and fix it. Maybe a malware analyst finds your crash software because that sends off a trigger in the sock. A lot of things can go wrong if your malware crashes. Rust makes it very difficult for malware to crash because of how safe the language is. And I think that's drawing the community of evil people that write malware to use it in their campaigns. Two, Rust is extremely portable. Because Rust uses LLVM for code generation, and if you don't know what LLVM is, LLVM is a framework for compilers. So you can actually create languages as front ends for LLVM. And then the back end of LLVM is going to be used to produce the code that's native to a processor. For example, you could think of Rust as a front end for LLVM and the producer for ARM assembly, for example, is the back end for LLVM. Because Rust is integrated into this compiler framework, unlike a lot of other languages, it makes Rust extremely portable. And this is the thing that actually matters for both malware authors and regular software engineers. You wanna write the code one time and you hopefully want it to work everywhere the first time. That's not always how code works, but using a framework like this, your code can be ran in multiple places with as little effort as possible. As a malware author, maybe operating out of some crime cell, for example, you don't have a lot of resources, so they probably want their code to run on a Windows target and a Linux target. So using Rust helps with this. And number three, Rust is actually extremely difficult to reverse engineer. There's a few reasons for this. One is that the language is fairly new and there just isn't a lot of tooling for reverse engineering Rust. Now I know you can put a Rust binary into Ghidra like I've done here, but it's not going to look the same as it does for a C binary. The Ghidra decompiler is trying to actually convert your binary back into the C that it came from. And when you decompile Rust, you're getting the C representation of the Rust decompilation, which is just much different than what the actual source code looks like. Also, Rust includes a lot of very low cost or even cost-free abstractions, and that makes the code base a little more complicated and less human readable in a reverse engineering context. Because of this, Rust is just inherently harder to reverse engineer and less likely for malware authors to be able to figure out what's going on. This adds a barrier to entry in doing malware analysis on Rust malware that makes things much easier for evil ransomware groups. And the harder it is for an analyst to reverse engineer your malware, the harder it is for you to get caught. So that's it for now. Hit that like button and hit subscribe and then go watch this video to get started on your reverse engineering journey. It's right, dude, it's right there. Just click on it.